Welcome, my dear students, for the second uh, volume, uh, the second uh, episode of the uh, Master Budget Accounting. Master Budget Accounting. Um, we talk about the finished products, and we said the word budget means what we need to produce, what we need to buy, what we need. So it's a planned, planned item. It's a planned. It deals with the planning. It does not deal with the past, but deal with the planning. Okay, let's go today as a, directly to see our example, which I came for. And here is a new example about the master budgeting. I hope that this will find. So you remember, just remember, just a quick remind, quick remind for you guys. We said any one of them that what we need to produce or to buy or whatever, uh, plus the ending inventory minus the beginning inventory. This is for uh, anything regarding the budgeting, any regarding budgeting. So we'll say what we need to produce, to buy materials, to produce, to sell, whatever, then plus the ending inventory minus the beginning inventory. Then, and we talked before about the long run strategy and the short run strategy. For the long run, we said a master, the master will be capital budget, but for the short run, it will be like a cash flow budget. Uh, this is what we did. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the example number three we had two examples before, and this is example number three. And this is very good example also. It tell me Jimenez Corporation manufactures and sell two types of decorative lamps and Nox and IART. Their, their names are Nox, K-N-O-X and IART. Those are the products, those are the products. The following data are available for the year 2070. So in the year 2017, we have expected sales in units, 21,000 for Nox, the product Nox, and 10,000 for IR. We have selling price 25 for Nox. We have selling price $40 for IR. We have targeted ending inventory in units 2,000 for Nox and for IR 1,000. We have beginning inventory, and this is what all we need. We need the ending inventory. We need the beginning inventory. We need the how many units to be purchased, how many units. So those are all what we need to make the budget. That's all what we need for the budgeting. Okay. What I need here in this question, calculate the revenues budget. Label is schedules one, okay? And the production budget in units, label is schedule two. So you will do two things. You will do. The revenues budgets means the expected revenues budget means in the future, what you will need in the future, the budget of the future and the production budget in units. This is label two, schedule two for the year ending December 31. So let's go for it now and watch it and see what we will do here. Okay, the first thing he asked for is the revenues budget. He needs to calculate the revenues, revenues budget. Calculate, you can see it here. Calculate the revenues budget. Here it is. Here I am. Calculate the revenues budget. So to calculate the revenues budget, any, any, any kind of revenues will be the units multiplied by the selling price. So for Nox, the prepared or the projected or the planned units to be sold is 21,000. And the price is 25, so it will be 21,000 uh, times 25. This will come to 525,000. 25, Again, 21,000 multiplied by times 25, then this will be 525,000. Okay, this is for the product NOX. We have two products. We have also IR, because we said here he has two products, NOX and IR. Here we said. He has lamps, Nox, and lamp is called IR. So for the IR, the same thing I will do. I have 10,000 units of IR. Each one's price from them is $40. Then 10,000 by $40, this will give me 400,000. This will give me 400,000. So how about the total revenues now? How can I calculate the total revenues? It's very easy. I will add five, two, five, three zeros plus 400,000. 525,000 plus 400,000, that will give me 925,000. And here is the last thing. So this is just to calculate the revenues budget from the two products, which are NOx and IR. So those are this. Again, I'm saying what I do, the proposed or the planned units to be sold multiplied by the selling price 
it will give me the total revenues, okay? 21,000 by 25, it will give me 525,000. And IR, 10,000 multiplied by 40, it will give me 400,000. So the total revenues will be 925,000. That's it. Let's go now for the, uh, the production budget. And we said the idea, the idea is the budgeted sales, the budgeted sales units, plus, plus the ending finished goods or inventory, the finished inventory, minus the beginning inventory. And this is all the idea of any, any planned or any master budget, either it is production or sales or whatever. Again, the budgeted sales, the amount planned to be sold, the amount planned to be sold, in simple words, the amount planned to be sold. Add to it the ending inventory minus the beginning inventory. And that's it. And we will do both of them for Knox company and for the IR company as well. So we plan to sell from Knox 21,000. This Knox, we plan to sell 21,000. Okay. The targeted ending, this will be given to you. If I give it to you, it is 2,000. So this is the ending inventory, 2,000 also. So we have now in a stock 23,000. 21 plus 2,000, I'm talking about Knox. Then what I will do for Knox, I will do again for IR company. So what I will do for Knox first, I will go and do it for IR secondly. Okay, 21,000 plus 2,000. So the total required units will be 23,000. Here we go. 21 plus 2,000, 21 plus 2,000, that will give me 23,000. Okay, then deduct the beginning, we said the targeted plus the ending minus the beginning. Again, I will say the targeted, targeted plus the beginning plus the ending minus the beginning. Again, I will say the targeted, targeted the planned units to be sold, to be purchased, whatever based on what he asked you in the example. Plus the ending from it, the ending from its type, the ending finished one from its type minus the beginning inventory from it. So here we have 23,000, when we'll deduct the 3,000 of it, then we'll get the units of, of goods to be produced. What we need to produce, we need to produce for Knox 20,000. Same thing, what we did for Knox will do for the IR company. The same stuff, everything will do for IR company. Okay. <clears throat> so for IR company, we'll do, we'll say, how many units need to be produced or to be sold? 1,000 units. Here we go. For them, for IR, 1,000 units. Okay. But we have already finished inventory, 1,000. So 10,000 plus 1,000, all we'll have in our hands required will be 11,000, but still we have the beginning inventory 1,000. So all we have to produce will be 11,000 minus 1,000, it will come to 10,000. I need to produce 10,000 units from IR, from IR to make a profits of 400,000 from IR stuff. And I need to produce 20,000 units of NOx, 20,000 units to complete the 21,000, which will give me $525,000. It's very easy. It's uh, the whole idea, like I told you again, I'm saying, so what you are planning to do, plus the ending inventory from this type, minus the starting or the beginning inventory from the same type which you are working on. If it is, Units sold, then you will talk about the sales or products, finished products. If you are talking about materials, you will, then you will talk about the inputs, the inventory from the inputs or from the materials. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, the other thing, sorry, for the uh, before I finish here, is how about the... Uh, some points, the theoretical points of this class, like... Uh, the long-term and short-term benefits of budgeting. Budgeting in general is helpful because you cannot do anything without planning and simple. 
Without planning, you cannot do anything. So budgeting will make you, will give you, afford you information that will facilitate for you and make it easy for you to plan. The second thing is, second thing here is, was the master budget useful? A master budget summarizes all the plans of the managerial in different areas, like we said, in production, in sales. So the master budget is a very important tool for me for planning. Okay. What is cash budget and why it's useful? We said the cash, cash budget is for the short run and the capital budget is for the long run. Please make sure that you understand it. Long run, we do a capital budgeting. Short run, we do cash budgeting, inventory budgeting, supply, but you see? So this is the difference between them. A cash budget summarizes all the timing, the amounts of cash inflow and outflow for a company over a specified period. Of course, it is the word budget means planning for the future. It's not about the past, but it is about the future itself. Uh, I just want you to watch the video once, twice, three times. Again, I'm saying the idea. Again, I will say any budget will be budgeted sales or budgeted materials or whatever, plus ending finished of its own stuff minus the beginning inventory of its own stuff. This will give me the budgeted production, or it will give me the budgeted uh, purchases as well. Like here, units to be purchased. Look at this, units to be purchased. So it's based on what are you doing? You are doing a budget purchase or purchase budget or sales production budget or sales budget. It depends on them. We had now three examples in the budgeting. It's very easy. Like you see, I hope that all of you guys are doing very well. Thank you so much and have a great day. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.